Within the program of his visit to Astana, President Shavkat Mirziyev has been awarded the Order Altan Quran of Kazakhstan. The highest state award was solemnly handed over to the leader of Uzbekistan by President Qasem Jomar Takayev. Details in the report. Expressing words of sincere gratitude on behalf of the multinational people of Uzbekistan, the head of Uzbekistan noted that such high award is an assessment of joint efforts to strengthen the centuries-old bonds of true friendship and good neighborliness of the two peoples, as well as recognition of common aspirations to bring relations between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan to a new historical level, strategic partnership and alliance. For reference, the highest order, Altun Quran, is awarded to state figures for their exceptional contribution to strengthening friendly relations with Kazakhstan. At the end of bilateral talks, President Shavkat Mirziyev and President Qasem Jomar Takayev inaugurated branches of the Tashkent Institute of Irrigation and Agricultural Mechanization Engineers in Almaty at the west of South Kazakhstan State University in Chirchuk. The mutual opening of Uzbek and Kazakh branches has become another evidence of dynamically developing multifaceted relations between the two countries. The educational institutions will train highly qualified personnel in demanded technical fields. The the heads of Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan also took part in the ceremony of arrival of the first freight train on the road Sian, Horgos, Almaty, Saryagach, Tashkent. The freight train departed from the Kazakh Chinese terminal in Sian to the dry port of Horgos. There, the containers were reloaded and sent by railroads of Kazakhstan through the station Saryagach to the final point at the station Tashkent. This road will reduce freight transportation time, thereby strengthening the trade ties between in the countries. В рамках достигнутой договоренности 27 июля из казахстанско-китайского терминала в городе Сиань отправлен контейнерный поезд, который проехал через Казахстан и доехал до Ташкента, крупного транспортного хаба Центральной Азии, за рекордные 5 дней. Короткий срок перевозки груза обеспечен благодаря использованию терминальных возможностей катаже в Китае, а также последовательному взаимодействию железнодорожных администраций Казахстана и Узбекистана. Following the first meeting of the Supreme Interstate Council, a ceremony of signing bilateral documents was held. President Shavkat Mirziyev and President Qasem Jomar Takayev signed a joint statement, as well as decisions of the Supreme Interstate Council on approval of the Program of Strategic Partnership and Allied Cooperation for 2024 and 2034, and establishment of the Council of Foreign Ministries. A package of documents covering a wide range of issues of bilateral cooperation was adopted, in particular, Intergovernmental Agreement on the State Border Regime, Protocols on Amendments to the Intergovernmental Agreements on State Border Checkpoints and International Road Communication, Intergovernmental Action Plan on Cultural and Humanitarian Cooperation for 2024 and 2025, Agreement on Cooperation in the Field of Agriculture, Agreement on Cooperation in the Field of Healthcare, Protocol on Cooperation between the Ministries of Economy, protocols on cooperation in the regulation of natural monopolies and competition policy, memorandum on the establishment of the Uzbek Kazakh Expert Council, agreement on mutual understanding between the Committee on Interethnic Relations and Friendly Communications of the Republic of Uzbekistan and the Otan Duster Foundation of the Republic of Kazakhstan, plan of practical actions to expand cooperation between the Hokimiat of Tashkent City and the Akimiat of Astana City in trade and economic investment, cultural and humanitarian sectors for 2024 and 2026. At a meeting with the media, President Shavkat Mirziyev and President Qasem Jomar Takayev shared their assessment of the talks. During the talks, the issue of establishing an interparliamentary forum with the participation of both chambers of parliaments was discussed. A decision was made to establish another new format of interaction, the Council of Foreign Ministries. Specific agreements were reached on further deepening of cooperation in the spheres of trade, industrial cooperation, energy, transportation, agriculture and water management, culture. A 
joint statement was signed and the program of strategic partnership and allied cooperation for 2024 and 2034 was adopted. Particular attention was paid to the activation of interregional ties. The leaders came up with the initiative to transform the interregional cooperation forum into the Council of Heads of Regions with the involvement of all regions of the two countries. By the end of the month, a comprehensive program aimed at cardinal increase of trade turnover will be adopted. The parties also decided to speed up the construction of the International Center for Industrial Cooperation. In addition, the issue of establishing the Uzbek-Kazakh Investment Fund will be worked out. Cooperation expansion in transportation and logistics was also at the spotlight of discussions. The two sides discussed specific measures to create the most favorable conditions for increasing the volume of freight traffic, accelerating the construction and modernization of roads and railways, and as a strategic direction is to ensure food security. Specific agreements were reached on the cultivation and supply of agricultural products on the territory of the two countries. Priority areas of cooperation in water use and environmental protection have been defined. An agreement was reached to continue close cooperation in the joint use of transboundary water resources. Particular attention was paid to the strengthening cooperation in the field of culture, use, science, education and sports. On the eve of the visit, the days of Uzbek cinema concerts, exhibitions, festivals, intellectual games and other events were successfully held in the capital of Kazakhstan. The parties expressed readiness to organize cross-cultural days, joint film festivals, concerts of Masters of Arts of the two countries next year. The sides will continue mutual support of initiatives within the regional and international platforms, including the United Nations, SEO, CIS, Organization of Turkic States, Conference on Interaction and Confidence, Building Measures in Asia, Central Asia Plus formats. In conclusion, Shavkat Mirziyev expressed confidence that the outcomes of the state visit and the agreements reached will contribute to the comprehensive strengthening the relations of friendship and good neighborliness, strategic partnership and alliance between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. President Shavkat Mirziyev and the President Qasem Jomar Takayev have inaugurated a monument to the poet and thinker Mirali Shernavoy in Astana, expressing sincere gratitude for Qasem Jomar Takayev's initiative to build a monument to Ali Shernavoy. The head of Uzbekistan noted that this monument in the very center of Kazakhstan's capital is a vivid confirmation of the Kazakh people's deep respect for brotherly Uzbekistan. The main merit of Ali Shernavoy is that he became the founder of Uzbek literature and the creator of literary Uzbek language. In contrast, the great son of Kazakh people, the classic of Kazakh literature, Abaya Kunanbaev, whose monument adorns one of the central squares of Tashkent, considered Ali Navoy, along with other great poets of the East and his teacher. The works of Navoy and Abai are the poetry of eternity, friendship, love, and loyalty. Their philosophical thoughts are invaluable asset in the spiritual formation of the nation. In 2020, the late Kazakh poet Nesebek Aytuli translated and and published the most important work of Al Sharnavoy Hamza in Kazakh language, and the preface to this book was written personally by the president Kasim Jomar Takayev. President Shavkat Mirziyev took part in the concert of Central Asian and Azerbaijani Ministers of Arts Evening of Friendship as part of the program of his stay in Astana. The event was also attended by President of Kazakhstan Qasem Jomar Takayev, President of Kyrgyzstan Sadr Japarov, President of Tajikistan Emom Ali Rahmon, as well as President of Azerbaijan Ilham Ali, the guest of honor of the summit. Colorful performances of folklore and ethnographic ensembles and entertainments, national songs and dances clearly confirmed the community and cultural closeness of people.